On the last episode of Three Bros Check Out Orange, we headed over to Shangri-La where we met Katie to tell us all about what is there to do in Shangri-La. All right, so today we're back here at the First Presbyterian Church of Orange. Uh, we're going to meet up with Bobby. This is actually your friend, right, Mike? Yeah, yeah. Did a lot of races back in the day with Bobby. Uh, he's from Venton, Louisiana, and old friend of mine. So we're going to come over here and talk to him. He's the pastor here at the uh, First Presbyterian Church of Orange. Yeah, if you haven't seen that video yet, you check it out. It's pretty nice. We toured the church, and very beautiful church that the uh, Starks and Browns built. And now Bobby is the pastor here. So pretty small world that, that uh, Mike knows Bobby from all the way back then because when he first saw his name as the pastor, he was like, is that Bobby from Vinton, Louisiana? And it was, so there he is right in there. There's the man. These are the windows Miss Letcher found at the 1893 World's Fair, and she purchased these, and the rest of the windows in the church uh, were based off of this. That's how she got them commissioned. But these three, this one's called Religion, and then you have the church, um, church militant and the church triumphant. So basically representing the church on earth and the church eternal with religion in the center. When we first came here and we saw the, I guess what was like, these three uh, windows kind of inspired the whole building of this whole church and that was like the base and it kind of gave me like these kind of happy thoughts because like that's what we're kind of doing with Three Bros Running Company. It's three, uh, three guys, three bros who are trying to build this company and do something great for the community. Bobby had a surprise for us after he visited the church. We went down to the base to check out the first central air unit this side of the Mississippi. First Presbyterian Church, we're here in the basement. We're in the bowels. And this right here, this is a peephole for a, like a furnace. You would look through here. Yeah, this is, I think this is one of the first churches that had like a central air. She actually met Carrier in the uh, 1893 World's Fair. Yeah. 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 I actually uh, met the guy. First, first building west of the Mississippi to have air conditioning. And that was due to the Starks. Is the Starks, the, yes. The Starks and Browns all pretty much the same. Starks, Brown, Lutcher. Uh, Lutcher. Lutcher was the Lutcher's married to the Starks, and the Browns married to the Lutcher Starks. Uh, but it was the Lutchers that built this building. You don't see this in uh, Southeast Texas, a basement, because oh, no. we are so prone to, to flooding. Uh, but this this place had it because the Lutchers had it back in Pennsylvania. That's where they were from. So it, it's cool to see. You don't see a basement and you know this was the first thing like he said west of the mississippi i'd be careful here jeremy this, I don't think there's not a lot of space. You saying I'm too big for this? Yes. Thing? No, I don't think so. I don't think don't so. Don't touch the windows. Don't touch the windows. Do not, do not okay. lean on the windows. I'm on the beams. Be careful, don't. Just touch these beams right here on the right. That's a light. Are don't you recording that. me? Don't touch that. Yeah, I'm recording. So right over here, pretty much on the, on the dome, on the top of the dome, this is the light. So let's go up here. All right. Supposedly, you can get a Sharpie and write your name up here. So you can see, this is the dome. Man, imagine, you can see all the light shining through, even though, you know, so cool. Oh, and this is the upper dome huh, that she was talking about. Wow. See, this is how there is light through the windows because of these dormer windows over here. but I bet you not that many people in Orange have done this. <laughs> yeah. uh, There's probably a handful of people who have been up here. 
now the three bros. I encourage you guys to come visit this church, but not only to visit, but also like kind of like donate. I think we'll have like a donation link, but I want like this historic landmark to continue to uh, be here for years to come. And when's their service? Their service is normally at seven. They have their Sunday services at 10 a.m. I encourage you guys to come not only visit the church, but the, the pastor is a really nice guy. We have been uh, uh, given approval to to kind of like uh, honor this, uh, I get what do you, what would you say? Write our names on the wall. I'll just write my names on there. Okay. Yeah. Three bros. Yeah. That's like the smallest writing you ever could write. 2022. I was gonna say, worth the second visit? <laughs> the first visit was like, you know, the, the, the beauty of it. This is like the, the behind the scenes of everything. I really don't like heights. <laughs> so right now we are on the top of the First Presbyterian Church. So crazy, yeah. This. Who knew we were gonna do this today? Not me. What a special experience to experience this wonderful church, the First Presbyterian Church of Orange, from the rooftop. The views up there were amazing, and that's why I had to take up my drone to show it off to everyone. Terry's not afraid of heights whatsoever. Yeah, it's just like, you, you climbed all over this <laughs> probably. Yeah, a little better than me. <laughs> my legs are a little shaking a little bit. Mine are shaking, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so cool, so very cool. I am glad my shoes do have good traction. I didn't think they did, but they do because we are on top of the church. Make sure you dry it. Yeah, I think that I stepped on some water. That's what happened. Now it's easy. Oh, adventure, for real. Woo! Man. Bobby over there. This will actually be some of our route around here. How's this so far, Mike? It's here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a little more adventurous. I, I thought I was going to be when we're going to go to church. So, <laughs> you know, we'd be climbing all it's over. Kara, like, she's, she's the daredevil right yeah, here. Yeah, daredevil. Kara's a pro at this. See, everybody's over there. We're just hanging out on the roof. This whole use, roof used to be copper, and then they kind of. Were, were, this is still copper, but this right here, I'm not sure what it's called. It's been replaced with more modern materials. It, was, it wasn't that easy to get up here. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to get down. Let's see Mike. See how, how uh, nimble Mike is. Not very. This is why he doesn't do trail runs. <laughs> Anything it requires a lot of coordination, yes. He hates show runs. This was an experience for sure. So that was awesome. Check out the first Presbyterian church. We did not expect to go up to the roof and do a lot of stuff, but after talking to Bobby, Kara, she. She uh, was actually the one who really wanted to go up there, I think. But we all were excited to go up there. This is a kind of a kind of a once of a lifetime kind of thing to do because I'm not sure how many people really are able to do that. And uh, we, the three brothers, were able to do that. So we were just up up there on that roof. Uh, but yeah, talked to Bobby. Good meeting. And uh, now we're gonna check out the route and then probably eat at Richard's. I was calling it Richard's, but. Bobby told me the right way to say it. Reshots. On the next episode of Three Bros Explore Orange, we head over to a local muralist to check out her murals, finally go to Reshards Cafe, and then hit up the local Orange Stationer. Make sure to check out all our Orange playlists and 
also hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video. Three bros out.